it's Tanya Eboy here from the Eboy Real Estate Team Remax Affiliates. And today I wanted to share with you some tips on purchasing vacant land. There's a lot of different things happening in the market right now and people are looking at other options for building a home and potentially buying vacant land in order to do that either now or down the down the road. So one of the things I wanted to share with you that you need to look into first, because most people aren't aware, in some circumstances, the vacant land will be subject to HST. So this has to do with a lot of different factors and that's a whole other video, but the reality is you need to be aware that it could be subject to HST. So we can find out some more information for you depending on the lot that it is, um, but definitely you may have to plan for 13% added to the purchase price, which can be a little bit shocking if you didn't intend on paying it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you wanna make sure that the house that you're hoping to build or planning to build will actually fit on the property. And that's not just relevant to the size of the property versus the size of the house. That's relevant to the setbacks because only certain lot lines or easements, restrictions on the property will have setbacks. And so that can really change the whole orientation of your home. If, for example, you were planning to build on the east side of the lot, but there's an easement there and you have to be 35 feet from the easement, now all of a sudden you don't have enough room. So that is something that you really wanna look into before you're um, purchasing the home or put in a conditional offer on on you finding out if it's going to be the right property for the right home that you're planning on building. Another thing is the excavation. A lot of people don't even consider it, but if you're buying a piece of property that has a lot of bedrock in it and you've got to excavate and drill and like do a whole bunch of digging to try to get down to build a basement, or you have to bring in a whole bunch of fill because of the elevation of the property and the drainage, those are all really big expenses that you maybe didn't account for. So something like that would have to be researched as well if you're really close to your budget and you don't have extra money when you're building your home. And then obviously cost of materials are something that you're gonna to wanna to consider now with the COVID being a thing and having everything being so expensive. So pricing out the home, building the home is a separate thing, but the excavation to actually get the land ready to make sure you can build the home on it is an expense that not a lot of people consider. The other thing is the septic in the well and the services that are required on the lot. So um, if you're from the city and you haven't built in the country before, you will have to install a certain type of a septic depending on the type of property that you have, what's suitable for your needs in the home, and then obviously a well for drinking water. So those are additional expenses that some people also don't consider. And then hydro, bringing hydro or gas to the property if it's a natural gas um, potential, you're probably going to want to bring that in. How much is that going to cost you? And you want to probably have electricity and how much is that going to cost you? So those are all things that you have to consider when you're purchasing um, a property that's vacant. Another thing is make sure you view it. Make sure you do a little bit of research. If it's a waterfront lot, there's floodplains, there's all sorts of different things that you have to consider. So have a trusted professional that's working with you. Make sure that you know an idea of what you wanna build and we can start to research with the township with you to try to figure out if it's gonna be possible. So I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.